This is a student report card which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got session, after that class and all the details of the student. Over here, we have got grade, pass or fail. Grade as well as pass or fail is fully automated. Over here, we have got name of the subjects and after that total marks, pass marks, actual marks, percentage, pass or fail. Over here, we have got total and when we come down, teacher's remarks and grading scale. Actual marks, percentage, pass or fail will be fully automated. Let's go on top. This is report card of class 12th. When we will change the roll number, I'll do it too. I got all the details of roll number 2. When I change the roll number once again, I'll do it 5. I got all the details of roll number 5. Along with student details, we can see the picture also. There will be total 2 sheets in this format. First will be data. In data, we will have all the details of the students, their marks. The marks will be of all the subjects. I have created this report card from 1st till 12th, means from class 1 till class 12th. I'll go to report card once again. In case I want to check the report card of class 1 or 1st, I'll click on the drop down and we select 1st. And I got all the details along with marks, pass marks, actual marks, percentage, pass or fail. And even the pictures got changed. We will change the roll number from here and pictures also got changed. I have put some colors over here. In case you don't want to put any color, you can. Let's start creating a new format now. I will rename the sheet. This will be data. I'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B2. This will be class. I'll type first over here, enter and we'll drag this till class 12th. We'll create borders. We'll take class in center, means we'll take heading in center. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll take column number C closer. We'll click on D2. This will be helper. Helper will be just for VLOOKUP purpose. Roll number, class, student name. We'll adjust the column size, picture. Now we will type name of all the subjects, English, Hindi or regional language, science, maths or mathematics, arts, physical education. We'll adjust the column size, we'll click on helper, we'll press shift control, right arrow key and we'll create borders. We'll align all the things in center, we'll put some color over here, we'll change the font color. We'll increase size of row number 2, row number 1. We'll drag this till 25, fill series, we'll drag this, move, we'll select all and we'll create borders, class first, enter, we'll drag this till end, copy cells. So this data will be for class one or class first. I'll put some random marks over here. To put random marks, I'll use formula of rand between plus or equal to rand between bottom. I'll provide bottom marks as 25 and top as 99. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this down and we'll drag till last subject. We'll copy this, control C or command C and we'll paste over here as values, paste special values. Student's name. I'll take student's name from my example file. We'll copy this, control C or command C and we'll go to my blank format. We'll paste here as values, paste special values. So I got all the names, helper. It will be plus or equal to class and roll number. And I'll hit enter. We'll drag this down. So data of class one or class first got ready. Now I'll copy this. Control C or command C. We'll come down. We'll leave one row blank. We'll come down and we'll paste this. Control V or command V. We'll freeze the pane over here. We'll go to view, freeze panes. Now I'll come down. We'll change the class. We'll do it second, enter. We'll drag this down, copy cells. We'll take name of the students from my example file. We'll copy this, control C or command C. We'll go to my blank format and we'll paste here as values, paste special values. Over here also I'll use rand between for the figures plus or equal to rand between bottom marks. I'll take as 25 
and top will be 99 enter we will drag this down and we will drag this till last subject we will copy this ctrl c or command c and we will paste here as values perfect now i'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines so data of two classes got ready in the same way you can create all the data we'll go on top now we will insert pictures over here we'll go to insert pictures over here we get two options place in cell and place over cells so we will select place in cell picture from file and these are all the pictures what i have kept in my folder so i'll select the pictures insert my picture got inserted. We'll insert one more picture to show you. Place in cell, picture from file. Insert. In the same way, I'll insert all the pictures. So I've inserted picture of seven students. For rest, I'll do no picture. Enter. We'll drag this down. So data sheet is ready. I'll insert another sheet. And this will be report card. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home and we'll take all the things in mid. We'll select column A and B and we'll reduce the size. We'll click on C3. This will be session. We'll leave D blank. We'll take this closer. We'll click on E3 and we'll select till I. We'll merge this together. Over here, I'll put name of the school. Session 2024-25. Enter. We'll select this and we'll merge together. I'll put school address over here. Now I'll select both the rows and we'll change the font style. We'll make this bold. We'll leave row number five blank. We'll click on C6 and we'll select till I. We'll merge this together. This will be report card. We'll change the font style. We'll underline the text. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. Over here also, we will change the color, means cell color and font color. We'll take row number 5 closer. We'll increase size of row number 6. We'll click on C7, class, section, roll number, student name. We'll adjust the column size, grade, pass or fail. Enter. We'll increase size of row number E. We'll click just after class. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source. I'll go to my data sheet and we'll select from first till last class and we'll do OK. We'll select class one or first over here. We'll select the whole column and we'll align all the things in center. Section, we'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source, A, comma B, comma C, comma D, comma E and I'll do OK. So drop down for section got created. I'll select A, roll number. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source. I'll go to my data sheet. And over here, we have got roll numbers. So I'll select from top to bottom. And we'll do OK. I'll select roll number one. Student's name. For student name, I'll use VLOOKUP. But in VLOOKUP, I'll use two lookup values. So the formula will be plus or equal to we look up bracket open lookup value lookup value will be class and roll number comma table array i'll go to my data sheet we'll select from helper till student's name we'll select picture also we'll press f4 or function f4 and the range will be logged comma column index number or column number we want student's name so we have selected we look up from helper so helper will be column number one, roll number will be two, three, four. I'll type four over here, comma zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket, but before hitting enter, I'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error, bracket open, we'll come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So I got student's name over here. When I'll change the roll number, I'll do it. 10 name got changed i'll keep it as student number two now i'll click on class we'll select next cell also we'll go to home and we'll merge this we'll do the same thing for rest of the heads perfect we'll click in front of section 
and we will select till pass or fail. We will select till I and we will merge this together. This will be for photograph. I will change the color. We will do it black and font color will be white. Over here we will use the function or formula of VLOOKUP and the formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Student name will be our lookup value comma table array. I will go to my data and we will select student's name and picture. We will press function F4 or F4 and the range will be logged comma column index number. I have selected the data from student's name. So this will be 1 and picture will be 2. I will put 2 over here comma 0 for exact match. We will close the bracket but before hitting enter I will insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank will close the bracket and will hit enter. So I got picture of Jack. When I change roll number, the picture got changed. And when I'll select roll number 5, picture got changed. Means this is working perfectly. I'll keep it as roll number 2. For grade and pass or fail, I'll merge the cells. I'll put some color over here. We'll put some light shade. In case you don't want to put any color, leave it blank. Now we will come down, we'll take row number 13 closer. This will be subjects, total marks, pass marks, actual marks. We'll adjust the column size, percentage, and this will be pass slash fail. We'll select the whole row and we'll align all the things in center. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select all the heads and we'll create borders. We'll create border over here also. We'll change the color. We'll do it yellow. We'll change color of pass or fail also. We'll change the font color. We'll leave column number 15 blank. We'll take this closer. We'll come over here. Now we will go to data. We'll click on first subject and we'll select the last subject. We'll copy this, Ctrl C or Command C. We'll come to Report Card Format. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse, paste Special. We'll take this on top, Values, Transpose, and I'll do OK. So I got name of all the subjects. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select this and we'll create borders. We'll align all the things in center. We'll create borders over here also. We'll change the shades. We'll change the shade over here also. For these, I'll put some light shade. Total marks 100. We'll copy this, Ctrl C or Command C, and we'll paste here as values. We can drag this down, but in that case, shade will be changed. Pass marks will be 45. Ctrl C or Command C, we'll paste here as values. We'll leave row number 22 blank. We'll take this closer. This will be total. We'll click over here and we'll change the color. We'll change the font color. We'll select this. We'll put some color over here also and we'll change the font color. Formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open. We'll select from first subject till last subject. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll copy this, Ctrl C or Command C and we'll paste over here in actual marks, Ctrl V or Command V. For this, we will use average plus or equal to average bracket open. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll select all the things and we'll align this in center. Percentage, it will be plus or equal to actual marks divided by total marks and I'll hit enter. We got zero. We'll go to home. We'll come in the center and we'll click on percentage. Now I'll click over here. Formula will be, but before putting formula, I'll select all and we'll click on percent sign plus or equal to actual marks divided by total marks and I'll hit enter. Now I'll copy this Ctrl C or Command C and we'll paste in rest of the subjects. Paste special formulas. Now whenever we will put actual marks over here through our formulas, figures will be visible. If I'll put 35, figures got visible and even we can see the percentage. I'll delete this. Pass or fail, our formula will be plus or equal to if 
bracket open actual marks is smaller than pass marks it will be failed so i'll put comma double inverted comma failed double inverted comma close comma if the actual marks will not be smaller than pass marks in that case we want pass so i'll put double inverted comma pass double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter actual marks is blank then also we can see fail so we will put criteria of if over here we'll go to formula bar if actual marks is equal to blank for blank i'll put double inverted comma twice comma if it will be blank in return we want blank so i'll put double inverted comma twice once again comma we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now it's blank so i'll copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here as formulas paste special formulas now if i'll put 45 over here it's pass and if it's 44 it's failed i'll delete this we'll leave row number 24 blank we'll take this closer we'll make row number 25 bigger this will be teacher's remark we'll click over here and we'll change the color and we'll change the font style we'll adjust the column size we'll select this and we'll merge this together we'll put some color over here we'll come down over here we will put our grades grades are already pre-decided so i'll take that figure from my example file we'll copy this Control c or command c we'll go to my blank format we'll leave row number 26 blank and we'll paste over here Control v or command v perfect we'll take column number j closer now i'll go on top we'll click on v2 and we'll select till j2 we'll come down and we'll select till end we'll create outside border and it will be thick box border and our border got created we'll take row number two closer we'll make row number three bigger we'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines we will click just in front of pass or fail and we'll insert our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open we'll click on final percentage is greater than or equal to 45 percent comma if total percentage will be greater than or equal to 45 percent student will pass otherwise fail so i'll put double inverted comma pass double inverted comma close comma double inverted comma fail double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter currently it's showing fail so we will go to formula bar once again and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open student's name is equal to if student name will be blank in return we want blank so i'll put double inverted comma twice once again comma we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now also it's showing fail but once all the formulas will be inserted it will be showing blank now we will put the formula for actual marks plus or equal to v lookup bracket open lookup value we will use two lookup values over here first one will be class we'll press function f4 or f4 and the cell will be logged and we'll select roll number we'll press function f4 or f4 comma table array we will go to our data sheet and we'll select data from helper till last subject we'll press function f4 and the range will be logged comma column index number we are not going to insert column index numbers manually instead we will use match so i'll put match bracket open look up value we will go to report card and we'll click on first subject comma lookup array we will go to data sheet and we'll select all the heads from helper till last subject we'll press function f4 or f4 and the range will be logged comma match type it will be zero we'll close the bracket comma zero for our vlookup we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got marks of english before dragging this down we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got marks of english we'll copy this Control c or command c we'll select this we'll right click the mouse paste special formulas so we got marks of all the subjects we'll click over here on pass or fail We'll go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, 
equal to and over here I'll type pass. We'll click on the drop down, customize format, font, font will be green and I'll make it bold and we'll do OK. OK. We'll go to conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rule equal to and this time I'll type fail. We'll click on drop down, customize format, font, font will be red and we'll make it bold and we'll do OK. OK. So whenever it will be fail, it will be highlighted in red and whenever it will be pass, it will be highlighted in green. Now I'll click over here, pass or fail, it will be plus or equal to. We'll click over here and we'll hit enter. One formula is still pending and that is of grade. The criteria of grades are over here. A plus is 97 to 100, A is 93 to 96 and A minus is between 90 and 92. And in the same way, we have got B plus, B, B minus, C and D also. So we will have to use nested if over here. And the formula will be plus or equal to if. So I'll put ifs instead of if. Ifs. Logical test. So logical test will be percentage of the student is greater than or equal to. I'll put 97 means 97% comma. If it will be greater than or equal to 97% it will be a plus so i'll put double inverted comma a plus double inverted comma close comma logical test 2 so i'll click over here once again on total percentage of student comma if it will be greater than or equal to 93 comma double inverted comma it will be a so i'll put double inverted comma once again comma we'll click on total percentage if it will be greater than or equal to 90 comma double inverted comma it will be a minus double inverted comma close comma now we will put all the grades of b c and d and the process will be same our last criteria is below 65 so we will click over here, smaller than 65%, comma, double inverted comma, D minus, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and we will hit enter. So we got D minus. We will put one more criteria over here. We'll go to formula bar. If bracket open, total percentage of the student is equal to 0%, we want the cell to be blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice, comma, we'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Perfect. So our report card is ready. When I change roll number, I'll do it. 5, all the figures got changed. When I'll do it 7, all the figures are getting changed automatically. When I'll select roll number 1, we can see all the details of roll number 1. So this format is ready now. I'll provide the link in description box. In case you want to download, you can. But the download option is only for channel members. You can join the channel membership to download or edit the file. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.